Believe it or not, there's a tutorial in this. What? I know. Me teaching you something? Fucking crazy, huh? <laughs> I fucking hate pimples. But Junior, everybody hates pimples. I know, that's why this is such a perfect video. Because it's so relatable. Well, actually, I love my pimples. Fuck you, no you don't. You liar. Okay, why do we even get pimples? Like, for real. Well, we get them because I don't care. Well then, why did you ask? Shut the fuck up. Look, I know I have something to do with the fact that you're growing up and your hormone imbalances and what you eat and the fucking grease on your skin, okay, I know that. I'm not stupid. It was a rhetorical question. But then again, I feel like ranting. So, why do we even get pimples, okay? When your body grows up, for the most part, it's supposed to change for the better, right? You're supposed to get more attractive, that's why you get taller, that's why you get more muscular, that's why girls get bigger hips and their breasts grow. It's supposed to make you more likely to reproduce. So tell me, how the fuck is me having pimples gonna make me more likely to reproduce as opposed to someone who doesn't have them, right? Doesn't make any fucking sense. But whatever, good job, buddy. Now, I don't struggle that much with pimples. I usually have two, three, or four on my face at a time. However, I have seen people walking around with their faces covered in them, their cheeks, their forehead, their mouth, I don't know. Walking around looking like pizza face. Which by the way, I never really understood. Pizza face. You're not walking around with big ass circles on your face looking like some kind of deep form Pikachu. Okay, they're little dots. It looks more like a case of chicken pox than pizza face. But whatever, what do I know, right? And to those people, I feel really bad. I honestly do. But there are solutions. Expensive solutions, but solutions nonetheless. And okay, I've tried them. I've tried the pills, and I've tried the creams, and I've tried all the remedies, okay, the face washes, okay, I've tried them all. And they do work for a couple of weeks. Then my pimples just stop going away, okay? It's like they become fucking immune. They're like the common cold. You can only suppress it, but you can't completely kill it off. And also, we're cheap asses. We don't want to go spend that much money on a dermatologist. Okay then, Junior, stop talking and tell us what you do. All right then, here's what I do. Step one, freak the fuck out like an SJW. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? It doesn't like turn into a fucking unicorn. Or like a rhinoceros. No, god damn it, this can't be happening to me right now. Oh my god. Step two, grab yourself some sugar, some honey, and a lime or apple cider vinegar. Either one works fine, so just choose one. Stop being so fucking picky. Step three, mix the ingredients. Preferably in a bowl, not directly on your face. I sure need to tell you this, but I really wanna make sure I idiot proof it. So grab yourself a bowl. The smaller the better. Step four, pour about your uncle's daily cocaine intake of sugar. For those of you that don't know how much that is, it's about one tablespoon. Grab about a cum shot worth of honey for those of you that aren't that familiar with that measurement, it's about one tablespoon. Next, mix a small amount of lime or apple cider vinegar. Oh my god, damn dude, what the fuck? I said mix a small amount, not the entire bottle, what the heck? If your motor function skills are about as good as a newborn baby, then try using a lemon instead, as it is much harder to fuck up than using a bottle. Mm. Fucking love cinnamon toast crunch. Stir the ingredients thoroughly. Feel free to add more sugar or lime as needed. You want it to not be as runny as your mouth, but also not as dry as your personality. Next, apply the ingredients to the troubled area. Make sure that you rub it in about as much as you rub it into other people's face, how much better your life is than theirs. Leave it on for a good 10 minutes, then wash it off by any means necessary. If you need to use a hose, Use a hose if your situation so calls for. Me personally, I'd rather use a sink. And don't eat it, you nasty. That shit's covered in your dead rotting skin cells. And afterwards, your face should be as smooth as my ass. No? It's not my ass? Then what is it? As smooth as a baby's ass. If you do this right, and you do it three times a week, that means about every other day. You should end up going from a three, all the way up to a five. 
yes for average and I don't know that's what I do it worked for me but you know what you try and keep trying things out and see what works for you it's the only way to find out experiment and see what works here's another thing when you have a pimple it's actually not that noticeable okay most people don't go around going Bro, is that a pimple? What the fuck? That, that's like the only thing I can notice right now is that pimple. Hey, you see that pimple on him right there? Yeah, that's the fucking pimple. You see that shit? You see that thing on his face? That's a pimple. Look at it. And no one does that. The only one that obsesses about it that much is yourself. For some reason, when it comes to you, you obsess about yourself so much that any little defect, any little detail, you'll fucking hate. And no one else really gives a shit. Can you obsess about it so much that you make sure everyone else knows it's there. Even if they wouldn't have otherwise noticed. Just because you're obsessing about it that much. Why do you do this? Because you're self-obsessed and you're conceited. So get over yourself and get over your pimples. I need to start telling myself that. And with that, like, comment, share, subscribe. Or if you don't like it, leave a dislike. I mean, the button's there for a reason. You might as well use it. And peace out, you conceited ass little motherfuckers. <laughs> And I'm woozy now, got this music on, so I'm zoning out. What is cock the toy be coming now? My realest thoughts are coming out. You know the kid never dreams.